Welcome back to the Tractor Tech Channel. I'm Roger. Today I have my carry-on 5x8 trailer in the garage. I'm going to start working on it a little bit. As I mentioned in a previous video, I want to change this inch and 7 8 coupler to a 2 inch coupler. So that's what I'm going to start with today to make the trailer usable. Since this coupler needs adjusted, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it now. I'm going to cut the welds off. I'm going to leave the tongue bolted to the trailer for now, but eventually I'm going to unbolt it. I think it's going to be easier at least to cut this weld off with it bolted to the trailer. Not sure about these over on the sides. I have the welds cut all the way around here. There's weld under the bottom that I need to access now. So now's the time for me to unbolt the tongue. Need a three quarter inch wrench and socket and ratchet to do this. Well, as you can see, I finally got the coupler off. This mod is definitely not worth it. It's way too much work to cut the old coupler off. If you're considering doing this, I would just get a new piece of tube or just not do it all together and just use an inch and seven eighth ball. It's definitely not worth the time it takes to do. So, I'm ready to start grinding it down, get it all dressed up, ready to install the new coupler. Here's the coupler all welded on. It was welded just like the one from the factory was. It was welded up the sides, across the top. This tube is still hot. And then underneath on both sides. 
You also notice that the 2 inch coupler is a longer coupler than the inch and 7 8 coupler. I guess that's partially because the 2 inch coupler is rated for a higher weight capacity. So after this cools, I'm going to shoot a little paint on it and then bolt it back on the trailer. So now I'm going to put a little paint on the welds and where the coupler coating got burnt off just to keep things from rusting. I plan on painting this trailer at a later date. You notice I have the jack stand underneath the tongue, that way it's pushing up on the tongue, so that way the tongue wasn't hanging down when I torqued it. Thought I better show that I do have the key to the coupler lock that was on the coupler, because if I didn't show that, I'm sure somebody would say, oh, you only changed that because you stole the trailer or something, so there's the key to it. Now the next thing I'm going to do while I have the trailer in is replace the wheel bearings. Ordered some new wheel bearings a while back. I don't know if you can see that, but I got Timken bearings for it. I'll put a card up for a video I did on instructions on how to replace wheel bearings. I'm not really going to go through a detailed... This isn't going to be a detailed instructional type video. I'm just going to show me doing the bearings. Kind of looks like to me that the thing has been in water at some point. So I got underneath the seal with a screwdriver like that. And I just hit down on the screwdriver a little bit. The seal popped out. It's a real small seal so it's not really that hard to remove like it would be on a larger trailer. Then to knock the races out, I have a screwdriver. I need to stick through to the race on the opposite side. And then just tap on it with a hammer and may need to go like top to bottom or left to right like opposite sides 
All right, I got the races knocked out of both sides. That wasn't too bad. So now I need to wipe the hub out to get it ready to install the new races. You'll want to remove all the old grease. I'm ready to drive the new race in. There's one bearing packed and the seal installed. We'll have the new wheel bearings on both sides and then the new two inch coupler installed. So this trailer is now roadworthy. I'm still waiting on the title and tags to come back from the DMV. It's a really long process with the way things are right now. But I have some other mods for this trailer planned. I have an idea of something to do to make the floor better because the floor is really lacking on these trailers. I want to do a lighting upgrade and maybe add a toolbox and a couple other little things that I'll be posting videos. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this.